Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we are not in the bee yard. We are going to be in the shop, and we are going to be evaluating a beehive kit. Now, I did not pay for this kit. This kit was sent out to me by Vivor, and they've also provided a 10% off discount code that I will leave in the description and share with you at the end if this is something that you would like to buy. Now, I have not seen these hives. I've not opened these boxes. We're going to do all of that together. I'm going to show you what I see inside the box, then I'm going to build the hive and then share with you what I have found. So with all that said, let me get these boxes opened up. Let's get into this hive, get it put together, and see if it's any good. I guess we'll start with, you know, we'll start with the beehive first, then we'll come back and do the super. Set that behind me. Let's look at this beehive. So I believe that this is a 10 frame beehive kit. Now I'm an eight frame guy. I don't have any 10 frame hives, but I'll gladly put this one in my apiary if it's a decent hive. So let's have a look at what you see when you get inside. All right, what do we have here? All right, first thing is a hive user manual. Well, if you're watching this video, chances are you know how to use a beehive already, so we're going to skip that. I think there's probably just instructions on how to put it together. There are. We can certainly figure out how to put together a beehive ourselves. We don't need that. First impressions. Okay, this is very heavily waxed. I mean, very heavily waxed. Dovetail joints. Now, these are very nice. I love dovetail joints because they will hold the box square without much assistance from clamps or glue. And these are waxed, so I can't glue them anyways. So let's see what else we've got here. Okay. So this is these are the edges of my deep. Okay, these are in good shape. Both have handles. Beautiful. What do we have here? Okay. This is the side of the hive. I like it. Are these this? No, no, that's a medium. Never mind. Okay, here we go. What else do we have in here? Okay, so these are the end pieces. I'm going to set this aside. Set this aside. Here's our foundation. There's more foundation. This is lightly waxed. Ooh. That smells kind of funny. It smells a lot like plastic. It doesn't smell like there's a lot of beeswax on there, but hey, I've used foundation with a little wax before. I can re-wax it myself. That is not a problem. These are kind of dumped in there. Let's get these out of the way. Frame pieces. All right, all right. So far, so good. I mean, it's not packed as neatly as that uh, Bee Castle hive was packed, but this is this is okay. Not a problem. Oh, mixed up in my frames. I did get my entrance reducer. Here it is. This is fine. Okay. I'm not sure what this wood is. I think it's uh, I think it's white cedar. Okay. Very very good. Excellent. What do we have here? This is. This is one side piece for the deep, one side piece for the medium. Okay, here is here's another side piece for the medium. This is this is this is interesting. Okay. I don't know where the glass is. Usually there's plexiglass. I guess it's down in the bottom. We'll look for that. Alright, well there's one medium. All right, let's see here. Here is the here is the the deep. Again, here's the here's the kit. There's no there's no glass in here. I don't I don't know where the plastic is. Right, we'll have a look. Maybe it's down at the bottom. We have some knobs and some things to hold the door shut. That's okay. A little bit of foam. A couple of more frames, frame pieces. What do we have here. We have a inner cover. And it's it's okay. This so far this is very well built. Let's uh, let's continue. There's a plastic queen excluder. I've got several of these. These always work. They're they're, they're good. And we have. Okay, this is this is unique. This is a telescoping cover, and it is. Usually they're just one piece of plywood. This is this is slatted wood. This is this is I've never seen one built like this before. Now it's heavily waxed. Again, there's a lot of wax on this hive. I don't know what the quality of the wax is. 
but I guess it's okay, but this does have a metal top on it. So that is all right. All right, and in the bottom we have, I guess this is where we're gonna find the window down here somewhere. Okay, here we go, here we go. We have more frames, these are the tops of the frames. Set all that up on the workbench. Set all this on the workbench. Set all this on the workbench. Bottoms of frames, set on the workbench. And let's see here. Okay. Um, okay, this is, this is, I don't have any, I don't, did I miss the plastic? I don't see the windows for the hive. Where are the windows? Let's have a let's have a look. <clears throat> where oh where? Okay, there's the there's a window on one side of each one of the hives. Here's the front and the back of the medium. Well, let's just stack them together. There's the medium. Here is the deep. And okay, there is no plastic. We have no plastic. To cut what what in the world? I've not seen ever a hive like this. What is what is the point? What is what's the point? You can't you can't you can't take that out without plastic in there. The bees will get you. Okay, so so here's my first impression, and then I'm going to put this together, and then I will share with you everything that I've found. But here's what I have found thus far, and I don't understand it. But that doesn't mean this isn't the way that it's supposed to be. I, I'm going to look on the on the website and make sure that, that I'm just not missing something. Maybe I'll call Vivor, and they'll let me know if they've just forgotten to put the, the plexiglass in these sides. Um, let, let me show you what I'm talking about. If you've ever had a windowed hive, now this is a, this is, I'm not sure where I got this. This, I got this from Better Be a long time ago. This is a windowed hive and it has all the same features and I expected that this hive was going to be just like that. But you take the, the, the cover off so that you can look, the observation port, it's, it's got plexiglass in it. It's, it's, it's gonna protect you from the bees when you, when you open it up. I don't understand why this Vivor Hive does not have that. Now, is it something that I could go back and add myself when this is all done? I could do that. But if you're going to be buying this hive, I would expect that it should be there. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, I can also tell you that something else I do not see in here are any nails or any way to put this together. Um, it's, they, it's, it's not included, so I'm going to have to use my own nails, and I'll do that. You can't, you can't glue these boxes because they're coated in, coated in wax, so gluing it is out of, out of the question. Now, screws would work, but you may split the wood if you don't pre-drill your holes, so I'm just going to use nails. Let me, um, let me put together what I've got, and then we'll come back at the end, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like and, and what I think about it. Um, every component that's in here, from my perspective, is quality i mean it's it's nice it's got their their name etched up here i think that's probably hit with a laser um and all of the the side components are are good they're they're all made from they're all made from wood that's been glued together it's not they're not this is not a one piece board which is a little concerning because beehives get damp and wet and moist but i guess with all the wax on there they're expecting that that glue joint's going to stay together um but one thing I have not seen is what I am seeing on both the bottom board and the telescoping cover, and that is slatted wood up in here. I've not seen that before. Usually, this is a solid piece of plywood. Um, I've not seen slats. It's it's very interesting. Anyways, let me put this together, and then we will we will we'll, we'll talk about it.
so now we're going to we're going to build the super I've got the hive assembled I'm not going to be assembling any frames today I'm going to assume that one frame is one frame we'll build one make sure that it fits and that is what we're going to do with that because frames are interchangeable and ultimately there's gonna be frames from other kits and frames that I just purchased by themselves they're gonna be put into this hive so we're just uh, we're not gonna spend any time on the frames today the frames seem to be of good quality but let's see what's in this in this uh, super see if this uh, see if this thing came with any windows maybe maybe they were just left off of this kit I will um, I will research that and I will look before I give you my conclusion at the end maybe maybe they just didn't ship um, with the kit so we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt uh, right now but by the end of this video you'll know whether or not this is the way that it's supposed to be or whether they left something out all right so what do we have in here more instructions we have more frames again the frames this wood looks decent smells like fresh cut pine i'll give viva this right now the amount of wax on these hives is exceptional um they are going to stand up to the elements outside provided there's some way to plug those big holes in the side i don't know if there's going to be all right more foundation more knobs some end pieces okay maybe this one doesn't even have a window in it okay okay oh yep this one oh yeah this one has a window in it in this Oh, and this window doesn't seem to fit. I mean, that window won't even stay in. Holy moly, the tolerance on this thing is not, not good. I'm going to show you this close up in the camera. And there's no plexiglass. There is no window. That is very, very, very poorly cut. You would think that these things would be cut on a CNC machine and they would all be pretty much perfect. But this is not the case. Anyways, let me build this, then we'll, we'll wrap this thing up. All right, a bonus screw. We have one extra screw, so I guess that's, that's something we can take away from it. All right, let's put this hive together. All right. So there we go. Here's our queen excluder. We'll put in there. We will set our <sighs> bees are going to get you now. This is this is this is this is a unique beehive. I'm not even sure bees will get out of there. All right, and the lid. All right, so I told you at the beginning I was going to give this a fair and honest review, and I'm going to give it a fair and honest review. Um, I do want to say this, that I have seen Viver hives that were decent hives. Now, I've never owned a Viver hive before, but I've seen their, their standard boxes without windows. They're decent hives. If this, if this hive did not have these windows in it, I would say that this would be a, a good hive to purchase for, I think it's $130, $129, $130. Um, I, would, I would use it if it didn't have this thing going on. Um, now, are the, are, the, are the joints, is this thing put together nicely? I mean, it's put together where it will hold. Anytime I see dovetail joints on a, on a beehive or on anything, I know that it's going to be solid. It's not going to pull apart because the way that the joint is set up, unlike a finger joint, um, it's not going to allow the box to come apart. So I don't think the box is going to come apart out there in the bee yard, but I also don't think that this is some place where I would want to put my bees. Um, will I use this? I'm going to find a way to use it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to get some plexiglass, put it on the inside and make this window what it's supposed to be, which I'm going to have to spend a little bit of money on that, but that's that, that will make this hive usable and it won't be a complete waste. Um, or what I will do is seal these windows shut with, with maybe scrape the wax off, use some epoxy or screw or brad nail it in, kind of toenail it in all the way around. Um, 
and just shut these doors permanently. This can stay on, but I don't, I don't need that because these aren't going to be part of the hive anymore. The only way that I could use this hive or that I could recommend that anybody would use this hive is by putting the, the plexiglass behind this port um, or just sealing it off altogether. It's not, it's bees are gonna get you. It's, it's not usable. And it's sad because I, I really wanted to give this a great review. I wanted this to be as, as nice as the Bee Castle was that I put together. When I did the Bee Castle build, I was very, very impressed with that hive. And I would gladly put the Bee Castle hive all throughout my apiary because it was, it was, a, it was tight and it was right and it didn't have this. But again, if, if, I had, if I had Viver hives that didn't have this, I would say that it would be an acceptable hive. Um, some of the things I don't like about it is it's not these aren't single pieces of wood These are multiple pieces of wood put together with glue beehives are a moist environment Those are probably going to break apart um, the same thing with the top and the bottom board It's not a piece of plywood underneath the top and it's not a piece of plywood on the bottom. It's slatted wood It could come apart. Um, I do like the fact that it's a solid bottom board and not not a screen bottom board because I mean I have trouble with hive beetles and they come right up to the bottoms So that's not gonna happen here um, But there you go and there you have it. I'm going to assume that based on the way the frames looked, that the frames are decent frames. The, the foundation doesn't have a lot of wax on them. I will have to re-wax them to use them, but that's pretty much the case with all foundations, so I'm not going to, I'm not gonna judge Viver too harshly on that. Um, but the, the overall hive, would I buy it with my money? This particular setup, I would not. Um, it's I don't know how I'm gonna use it without sealing this up, and I wouldn't recommend that you did either. However, if this is something that you want to buy, I do have I do have a, a product code down in the description. I believe for the uh, the super, it's uh, 10B Super. That's 10B Super. The number 10 B E E S U P E R. Um, you can follow the link down in the description to their Amazon site. Use that offer code and save 10% on this if this is something you would want to buy. And for the Beehive kit itself, which is basically the bottom board, the deep super the medium super the queen excluder the um top board and the inner cover and all the frames and foundation uh, i think if you would like to save 10 percent on that i think it's 10 b box that's the number 10 b e e b o x 10 b box will save you 10 percent at checkout at the link below um verify those offer codes down in the, in the uh, description um but that's how you can get this hive if this is something that you would like to purchase um again me this hive's not for me vivor if you would like to send me some hives that don't have this window in it i would happily review them and i'm sure that it would be a much better fit for what it is that i'm doing um these are kind of a kind of a deal breaker for me so with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this midweek video. You will uh, you will see another video on Friday from me. This is, this is just a midweek video. I am going to have a, a, a end of the week drop like I always do. So if you like this video or found this information useful, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up down below and, uh, and leave me a comment. And let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you next time on Friday. Be happy and take care.